welcome. Welcome back and happy Halloween. So, and thank you all for being here today. My name is Melissa and I will be your multi-density cosmic tour guide. We're going to um, take a look at the Halloween energies and eclipses, but most of all, we're going to talk about the big event energy that's that's in motion that's going to help us awaken and open our eyes to everything as we come into that zero point. So um, I've been watching the rise of the, the witches and the divine magicians and the, the mystics and the magi over all the years. And there were a, a few times that I was like, oh, good, I don't have to just be just be a, a little psychic medium over here, um, which has been my um, journey and and for so many years and do doing shamanic practices and past life regressions for, you know, decades. Um, and I thought, Oh, good. Who will get to take a break as the magic within each and every person, the spiritual gifts and talents and abilities and understanding comes into each person. And I was thinking, um, I was on a tour the other day with, uh, magical people and we were doing ceremony prayers um, and connecting with the earth and the skies and um, and just almost like being in the flow of the divine magic, the spark of creation and um, our connection and just asking for the highest good and, and really working the grid and all that kind of stuff. And it was really cool. And I realized, oh, many of the people around me are um, have been for a very long time or always knew that they had their divine magic in different ways, forms, words, perspectives. And so many of the people I'm around, the light workers, the light warriors, the light witches, um, are all around us. And it's, um, certainly, you know, that word is over the years has been in history has just been really bad, distorted. So it's not the negative. Um, slinging spells and binding people and, you know, things like that. Um, witches, but it's the witches, the warlocks, the wizards, the Gandalfs, the Merlins, the, um, Christed energy, the beings that are Christed, the white light, um, um, the light magicians and magi, the three kings, the people that understood how to um, flow and work with the energies and frequencies. So this is a point in history, in this event time period, that that's what we're going to be doing. Um, awakening was all we needed to do. And each and every one of you, all of the light workers and the um, indigos, the star seeds, the super rock star seeds, and the crystalline children, the ministers, the teachers, the healers, um, whatever perspective you have, we have been all in motion toward these times, which I would call the revelations times. Um, and it's just all been building to this point. And we are aware in one way, shape or form that we are in the midst of spiritual war. So, um, so many people that I talk to are like, no, that can't touch me. No, that can't touch me. Da, da, da. So they're just playing a different role in the holding of the light um, in different ways. But I got to say, it's just been colossal and amazing. And um, the awakening to the wisdom and truth as we are connected back in that balance of um, divine masculine, feminine, the divine mother, father in us and our higher selves, our connections are just being so, so, so advanced. And in that, um, each layer of the, the um, bandwidth frequencies, as I call them, are being tuned up. And isn't it funny? During Halloween time, the, like the worst, darkest shows come on. I was, I was searching for the fun ones, the silly ones that they were doing magic and bringing witches back from, you know, 500 years ago and um, all these different things, the fun ones. And there are very few these days. But yet they had the Dahmer movie that was on. Um, they keep passing because they keep going, God, that guy, that guy reminds me exactly of my like, ex-boyfriend that he's Dahmer. 
like really almost identical in his thinking and his behavior and his intentions. And I'm like, okay, so those energies are being resistant in the spiritual war um, that's going on, the bouncing, the back and forth, the distortion, the twisted, the nodding, the grime um, to keep us um, from like recognizing each other without judgment and um, keeping us in a state of heavy, gunky, density, darkness that winds up in us more and more and more. And it's funny in a way, although Jeffrey Dahmer and none of the um, soulless, psychopathic, draconian, reptilian, narcissistic things that have happened to all of us as a collective and personally are funny at all. And really Jeffrey Dahmer is not funny at all. Um, he is probably one of the lowest and scariest energies that we could ever imagine. So that's a bandwidth frequency piece that's been infested in all of our higher frequency bandwidth frequencies, right? And it's in essence brought us to a fallen state of being. And, um, so it's just the, the stitches in the fabric of who we are, our simulated energies around us, our simulated world and the densities it brings us into denser and denser. So what's happening in this event and bringing back our divine magic and mystical knowledge and truth online and each tribe is being awakened. Each tribe member, royal tribe lines are remembering their magic in different ways and their calling is calling them. And so the way you perceive, the way you do things are coming out of those, like opening up the doors to those pieces. And in that, um, we're unstitching, delousing those layers of the bandwidth frequencies um, that have been tainted by those dark energies. So Jeffrey Dahmer's horrible, but it keeps us in a state of um, um, being asleep, and um, just really being desensitized to horrific abomination and crime and murders and death and losses. We should just let go and get over it. And um, the truth is we should go, oh, that's not okay. That doesn't belong here. No, no. And um, this event is bringing um, science and spirit together a little bit closer. And when I say science and spirit, I mean earth and heaven. So heaven frequencies, um, 5D and above, although they have been um, tainted and stuff and the, the connection has been tainted, it's coming back together more and more. This is a perfect time to hold that pure light, the highest good for all, um, happiness, fun, richness, fulfillment, joy, wholeness for all. Because as we move in motion to, through this event and things are eclipsed out and the energies Heaven on earth comes together a little bit more. That veil is thinning a little bit more. But guess what's in the middle here still in this fourth dimension? It's all of the lower astral beings, thoughts, programs, um, AIs, things that have been um, throughout history clogging and gunking up everything. The dark aliens, demons, devils, those things um, exist. The, the reptilians um, dark beings exist in those and they cannot come up. And the angels have processed, um, divine beings, angels, archangels, and pulled away the distorted pieces or the inverted pieces that of who we are, our perceptions, the way we are. Um, and they have been cleansing those out in them. And that's where this new earth is. So as heaven and earth come together more and more, that fourth dimension, we're cleansing and clearing it out and processing and integrating. And as we do that to um, activate our new codes, we have to deactivate and cleanse and clear out those pieces that were um, projected and imposed and infested in each and every one of us, as well as our simulation that's going on all around us that was tainted. So it's like a stupid computer program that's just way out of date and um, really went wrong. So, as we cleanse and clear those pieces, we hold the um, the light grid up and 
so of the light grid works that we've been working on over the many decades. And um, recently it feels like that, that that is also part of the holding that new earth energy, heaven on earth, new energy as above, so below and connection with source. Get this in the bandwidth energies. Um, there are different vibes. So we can look at it like the rainbow bridge. It's been crumbled. It's been blown up and all these civilizations and, and, um, each bandwidth frequency, which are conditions or states of being, um, have been just jumbled up, um, tainted, just spit on, stomped on. Um, and we became desensitized to all those things. But in this event time period, um, we are going to pull out the laws of the universe and awaken to what those are, the law and order of the universe, which we seem to have missed really badly and been um, sort of sequestered and imprisoned in this earth cycle over and over. And so we, you know, many call it the, the prison planet and things like that. It's a gross hello. And um, some of the beings stuck in those fourth dimensions whether they, they could fly in the sky or they can creep in and out in different ways, whether they are paranormal hauntings. Um, yes, sometimes people do channel real low frequencies and um, don't realize it. Um, so that's a tough one. The mediums, the, the psychics, that's why it um, can be dangerous if you over, you know, blow um, frequencies in you and those darker beings can kind of come in, but they've done it to everybody, not just the psychics, the mediums, they've done it to everybody, everyone, everywhere. And so as heaven and earth come together, the rainbow bridge is built in the, all of our bandwidth frequencies becoming cleaner and clearer, tuning up to the cosmic heart, which has every color, tone, frequency, all in order and we can hold it up like a prism because we can look at it like a bridge, like an actual bridge, like you could walk on this bridge um, as it is um, heaven and earth come together. Or you can look at it like the divine masculine, the divine feminine and mother, father, God and us, as well as recognition of, of, of this divinity and others that sacred union. And that rainbow bridge is also, all the bandwidth frequencies are in order, making colorful things. So it's coming to pass that the grid work that we're doing is like holding prisms in order. It's not just um, out of order, but it's in order. And each and every one of you have had um, just, just amazing jobs and missions and purposes that you have done so well. As you cleared the shadow, the shadow, and you've had many of you've had special ops, double, triple missions. Some of you walked in the middle of the darkest spaces and the darkest places to help bring home some of the pieces, the soul fragments of people and different civilization, civilizations and consciousness of um, all different layers of what has ever been just beyond our comprehension. And you've done it so well. And I just want to say, um, I really thank everybody, even the dark characters, the soulless, um, you know, psychopathic, gross people, um, even, but especially those family, friends, loved ones, even if there was contention or it was misunderstood or pain, I'm deeply grateful for getting to walk this walk with you and um, share in this light with you, this path. Um, so I congratulate all of you. There's, there's something in this. Um, we've all been feeling it these months before the new year, January, February, where we will all awaken in many ways, many bandwidth frequencies of who we are in our simulated world more so quickly, so advanced as we have hit that zero point and the switch has been turned on the lights coming in and in all different angles, the Shimon resonances, um, shuffling us up a little bit more and opening our eyes and, um, helping us recognize the true laws of the universe and, and what unity means. And so I say, thank you for being you. 
I'm going to pull a couple of cards and um, hopefully some of this makes sense that heaven and earth are coming together um, a little bit more, a little bit more. Bandwidth frequencies are being cleansed and cleared and coming together like a prism, a rainbow bridges. And that doesn't mean we're going to die, but it's eventually as we get out of this low density and really heavy stuff, um, disease, illness, stuff like that, the evolution will bring us into a more um, harmonious state of being where we can recognize um, that there is plenty for everyone, plenty. And there's no need for lack or poverty or pain or yearning. And there's um, our, remember, the heavenly people, our loved ones in spirit are but this far away, just vibrating at a different frequency, some higher, some lower, some um, just different tunes. Um, some have a little bass in them. Some have a little high um, um, pitches and tunes and colors. And we are all bringing that together in the unity consciousness as planned, even though it has been barbaric and vile. And even the new age and every single person that has stood for anything, um, just like throughout history, um, all the people that we've watched on TV, all the people that have um, stood for something that helped make change in the world. So some of the people that I've channeled and I mean, we can add people like Kurt Cobain, even though that's not, I just, that was, would not have been my first choice, but um, um, helped open our eyes and change us a little bit while he was here. Martin Luther King, um, John F. Kennedy, um, Marilyn Monroe, Princess Diana, Jesus Christ, uh, Moses, <laughs> um, all the different people throughout history. Were they all perfect? No. They carried a particular purpose, an awakening, or a moment where we learned something in their particular bandwidth frequency that they carry the most, that they're like their most prominent frequencies. And um, those are all coming together, being cleared out. And that's what all the channelings have been for like two, two decades for me. I'm like, what are you saying? Um, and again, all of you have different purposes, missions, and we might not understand each other's. So again, stay in your own lanes. But the magic of this just, just brings the spark of creation, our divinity back into line. And it's so much fun. Um, I know I've been saying that for a long time and it gets old. Um, but this is the best time that, like, this is the biggest event ever. We are in the middle of, um, I keep hearing people call it the rapture. So as these bandwidth frequencies come together in the rainbow bridge and the sacred union of all that is, um, and our, our planet, our galaxy, our cosmos are becoming freed in many layers and put back in divine law and order. We're waking up, waking up to those. Um, those beings are being squished out and those are pieces in us too. The shadow in us are being squished out. That's why it's so uncomfortable. It's like being between a rock and a hard place. And um, you've all done really well. And congratulations because we're at a new stage, a new era, a new um, state of being. And that will continue. Keep going and going. We recognize the unique beauty in each person and we can no longer hold judgment. And that in itself is um, magical. So yes, judgment is a tough one to erase out of everything, but just know that that's being pulled out. The persecutions, the abandonment, the judgments, the rejections. And I'm seeing everyone recognize not only themselves, who they really are inside. That's magical as well as recognize it in others and honor others. And it's beautiful. So thank you for being you. Thank you for um, being who you came here to be. I'm going to pull a card. See what we got. I got the Isis cards out because I don't have any Halloween-y groovy cards. And um, just see if there's anything else that can be told or can help us awaken or bring us answers or truth or guidance in the purified Christed form. <laughs> 